Hi, I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield for Green Car Reports. Normally, when we're asked to review a car, we focus on cars that are either already in production or just about to go into production. This, behind me, is a Mark VI electric Golf, otherwise known as the Golf Blue E-Motion. It will never make it into production. So, why are we taking note of it? Well, think of this as the engineering mule for the car that will eventually become the 2014 Golf Electric. Pull away from a junction in this prototype and the traction control very admirably handles all that torque. There's very minimal wheel spin and believe me I've tried quite a lot today to make this car lose its beams. It's a very well refined, well finished drive. For a prototype car it's very impressive. If you've driven any of Volkswagen's current Golf models with the DSG gearbox, you'll be familiar with the paddle shifters that I've got here on my steering wheel. However, unlike the DSG gearbox where you have one to go up a gear and one to go down a gear, these little paddle shifters allow me to control the amount of regenerative braking that the car experiences when I lift my foot off the throttle. At the moment, if I lift my foot off the throttle, there is just complete coasting nothing else, no regenerative braking, which means this would be ideal for a long distance, gentle drive where I'm trying to maximize my range. However, if I click the button on the left, which I would normally use to go down a gear, the car starts to slow down. Click it again, and the regenerative braking becomes a little harder. Click it one more time, so three clicks, and it becomes the most harsh regenerative braking. And in this mode, it feels very much like the regenerative braking that you'd find on something like the Tesla Roadster, and also maybe the Mini E, the Mini E prototypes. And it makes it possible to drive this car with just one pedal. However, Volkswagen has acknowledged that if your regenerative braking is very abrupt, as I'll make now, quite severe regenerative braking. I'm slowing down just on regenerative braking at the moment. That's going to be quite shocking for the person following you. So Volkswagen has decided that in its most extreme setting, lifting your foot off the throttle and engaging regenerative braking will mean that the brake lights on the back of the car illuminate. That is a new feature that, and one that I've never seen in an electric car of this generation before. And it's a welcome addition because I think it's a safety feature that has been missing to date. Alongside the plethora of ways that Volkswagen lets you control the regenerative braking of this Blue E-Motion Golf, it also allows you a way, multiple ways, of controlling the energy that you consume. Let me explain. Like most electric cars on the market today, there is a normal mode and an eco mode. In normal mode, you have access to the full 85 kilowatts of this car's electric motor. In eco mode, it gives you the restriction on how much power you can use. You still have a kick down function, which simulates the kick down that you'd find in an automatic gearbox and gives you temporary access to all of that power should you need it. But for the rest of the time, it's restricted. In range mode, this car restricts everything. It won't let you use the air conditioning or the heater, and it restricts the amount of power that you can send to the wheels. In that mode, obviously, you're going to get the best range, but I haven't really driven in that much because, well, quite frankly, with the addition of this regenerative braking setup, I haven't felt the need. So what do we have here? This is an electric prototype by Volkswagen. It's a Mark VI Volkswagen Golf. It feels like a Mark VI Volkswagen Golf. The difference is that this car shows us what the Mark VII Golf could be when it launches in just over a year's time. The drivetrain in this car is very refined and very stoic. It gives you the power you need without being silly, without giving you wheel spins. It gives you a reasonable acceleration, equivalent to say a one point six litre petrol engine. But perhaps the most innovative feature in this car is the way that you can select the regenerative braking. This is a very promising start Volkswagen. Please keep it up. This has been Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield for Green Car Reports.